I've been a regular cruise speaker since retiring from BBC Television in 2011, having been on staff for 35 years, producing high-rating factual series such as Tomorrow's World, The Dramatic Rescues of 999 and the ever-popular Antiques Roadshow. I actually have two talk subjects. As a BBC Television producer, I have some wonderful behind-the-scenes stories, not least from my five years directing Antiques Roadshow. But my hobby is international ballooning which gives me an exciting second topic. I've been lucky to pilot balloons everywhere from Asia to the Arctic and even crossing oceans, just like the cruises. Well, a very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. It was lovely seeing some footage before Rob's first talk. Uh, Travelling the Atlantic via balloon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rob Bailey. Thank you, Bailey. Morning, everybody. And morning to everybody watching in their cabins. I've just been having a look at my telly in the cabin. Fantastic TV system. What got me interested in ballooning was this friend of mine, Don Cameron. This is Don in 1978. And uh, if you look where he is now, it's exactly where this ship is right this second. We've just come round this corner and we're just about to cross the Bay of Biscay. And in 1978, Don took off from Newfoundland here and he didn't make it. He landed 100 miles off the coast. In fact, to give you an idea of scale, I'm going to make a very striking comparison. <laughs> Striking us, the Queen Elizabeth Tower with Big Ben on top, and uh, there's a lot of hot air in there, isn't there? Inside the Houses of Parliament. Thunderbirds are go. Thunderbirds are go, and there's the countdown. Here's the first little bit of video. This is the genuine footage. Uh, the mayor of Bangor, who sent us off, he also liked a countdown. Three, two, one. Okay. So my job here is to cut us free with a Swiss Army knife. My wife's sending us off. So I release the line. Every balloon has its national anthem as we take off. But just to show that we're not actually gung-ho, top gun heroes, on our feet here while we're going along, we're wearing Marks and Spencer's slippers, nice fur-lined <laughs> slippers. So I'll, I'll let you into the few behind the scenes things here. Belgium is a little bit more, they've flown higher and are curving a bit more to the right. The uh, Americans have gone even higher and they're curving down this way towards Morocco. And the Brits, me and Don, we're towing the middle line. This is great, you know, we're going to be, the, I think it's the seventh ever balloon to cross the Atlantic. And he says, don't count your chickens yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Absolutely. Did I tell you I wasn't in the bag yet? Wow. That makes my heart rate go up when I see that. I have to say, when I first knew I was working with Fiona Bruce, I felt not intimidated, but she's a lady to be respected, I think you'd all agree. Someone said, Rob, Fiona's great, very professional, but she doesn't suffer fools. Doesn't suffer fools well, so I didn't want to be one of the fools. Here is Fiona, and uh, here she is having her nose powdered. <laughs> For 10 years, I've been so lucky to be a part of it. Welcome to this, the first of the BBC's Antiques Roadshows. The Roadshow of the 1970s, when it was born. I took Henry once, uh, I was taking him back to his hotel and uh, I had the satin nav running in the car and he's a dear old man, he would have been in his mid-80s at the time and he said, dear boy, what's that thing talking to you? And the, the satin nav was saying, at the roundabout, turn left and things. And it was like magic to him. He said, it's like witchcraft, he said. <laughs> <laughs> little, little box telling you which way to drive. It's lovely. So there we are. National treasures. And that'll bring me along to this one, the highest valuation. The oldest and the youngest members of the team there, Henry and Fiona. So I hope you've enjoyed that little romp through Antiques Roadshow. It's a fantastic privilege to be uh, working with that team. Thank you very much for coming. I love infusing audiences with my stories of BBC and ballooning and I've been grateful to have many full houses and return engagements on all the main cruise lines including Cunard, P&O, Saga and Fred Olsen. I hope I can come aboard and entertain your guests. Thank you. I'm exclusively represented to the cruise industry by Peel Talent. <laughs>